Good evening, dear. You look as beautiful as ever. You always did. Always do, I suppose I should say. I always find it amazing that no matter how much time has passed, or what world-changing events have occurred, your beauty hasn't aged a single day. I'm not sure I can say the same thing about myself. I must confess, Emily, I look into the mirror sometimes, and I don't recognize the man that stares back. I've had to change, Emily. Adapt. Do things. Become things that... I'm not proud of. Things that I know you wouldn't be proud of either. Which hurts my heart more than you can know, but... This is the only way. I need you, Emily. Your son, Adrian, he needs you too. And I will do anything to make sure we're a family again. Even if the world has to change to make that happen. Even if I have to be the one to change it. Intriguing. Huh? You are a much more complicated man than I hypothesized, Mr. Agrest. Or would you prefer I address you as Hawkmoth? Uh, who's there? How did you get down here? I am nothing but a cold breeze, Mr. Agrest. And you can't keep the cold out of a place as drafty as this. Who, who are you? Up until just a few moments ago, I would have said it doesn't matter. But now I can safely say, I'm a man not unlike yourself. Someone willing to do anything to get back what they've lost. The woman in the case there, that is your wife, I presume? If you so much as even think about touching her, I will unleash a fury. I have no intention of harming you or your wife, Mr. Agrest. At least not now that I realize our circumstances are eerily similar. Do you mind if I ask what happened to her? Emily! Her name is... Emily. She... She used to have powers of her own. Like me. And Ladybug and Chat Noir. But the source of her power was... broken. And they destroyed her. They made her like this. And I vowed to bring her back, no matter the cost. Even if it destroys me in the process. A sentiment I understand quite well. I also have a sick wife, you see. She is dying. Her name is Nora. Nora? I am no more a villain than you are, Mr. Regrest. Here in Paris, you are quite the accomplished fashion designer. Back in my home, I was an accomplished cryogeneticist. A man of science. My wife didn't have powers like yours, but she fell victim to a rare degenerative brain disease. One with no cure. And how long does she have to live? Without me, merely days. Which is why she would have died years ago had I not put her into a cryogenic stasis to keep her alive. At least until I can discover the cure. She has her own space and resting place of sorts. Not unlike the one you have here for your dear Emily. Which is quite beautiful, by the way. Uh, thank you. And I'm sorry to hear about your wife, but why are you here? Why have you invaded my home of all places? I will never say a cure for Nora's condition is impossible. But I have been researching it for years. And I've come to the realization it will be years more before any real progress can be made. But these... miraculous I've heard about here in Paris... I confess I do not fully understand them. But I don't need to understand them to know they are a source of immense power. If you don't mind me asking, is that how you plan on reviving Emily here? Yes. The Miraculous are more powerful than you can know. The right Miraculous is in hand. The wielder can do the impossible. Make a wish or deep desire actually come true. Like a genie out of a bottle. Nothing is impossible with the power of the Miraculous in your hands. And this wish you describe, are you only able to use it once? Or can that power be used at will? I've never wanted anything more than my wife back. But yes, theoretically, the, 
power of the miraculous can do anything. And these miraculous, do you know where they are? I have two already. One of them is mine, and the other belong to Emily. But the next two I need are held by Chat Noir and Ladybug, teenagers that cannot possibly comprehend the power they wield, or the good they could truly do with it if they knew how. It settled them. Excuse me? Emily and Nora are counting on us, Mr. Agrest. For the time being, it seems our wives' fates are intertwined by the power of the miraculous. Alone, we have failed our wives again and again. But together, we may finally bring them the justice they deserve. I would like to propose a partnership. I don't know where you come from. But if what you say is true, I can see a partnership between us only being beneficial. Very well. I will use my Miraculous to imbue you with the power you'll need to stop Chat Noir and Lady That will not be necessary. This power of yours, the power to give power to others, is Ladybug. Is she not uniquely suited to counter these abilities of yours? Yes. It's been a constant source of frustration. She won't be able to counter me. Magic is a mysterious thing. And I may be using it as a shortcut to save my dear Nora. But a little magic will never be able to stop the progress of science. I hope this Chat Noir and Ladybug of yours have some warmer clothes. Because winter is coming early this year. Wait. Before you go. I didn't catch your name. Ah, yes. Pardon my manners, Mr. Addressed. My name is Dr. Victor Freeze. Nice to meet you.